Welcome back to the pod with the bros, you know. To Morgan, Eli, Nick. Nick, Blaze. Blaze. Now, what were you saying? Anyways, um, so Nick, you were gone, so I didn't have my co-anchor for the news. Oh, you did that on Thursday? Mm-hmm. So I had Morgan come with me. No, oh, I bet that was fun. <clears throat> it's crazy. And I'm not going to lie, I had some crazy hair going. So I was like, here, I'll just I'll just throw on my hat for the news. Yeah. Throw on my hat. <clears throat> Mr. Wenzel comes in and he's like talking to us, whatever. And then he leaves, whatever. And like, I had my hat on, and then I like took it off, and I was like, ah, I suppose, I suppose I should probably take it off for the news, just to you know, tell him I was gonna do it. Yeah. And he just goes, well, your hat here looks terrible, and just <laughs> walked out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what the freak? What the freak? So that was really disrespectful. Look what at his hair flip? right now, bro. Yeah, his hair kind of. Leave my hair yeah. alone, bro. It doesn't look good without it. Look how poofy it is. Yeah, don't even look that bad. Don't even. (laughs) I can't be talking. Looks like I have a mop on my head. Need to get a haircut. At Jack Boomsma. At Jack Boomsma. Bro, I need a haircut too. This stuff on top is getting too long. Yeah, I'm just gonna have Jack. Gonna get a modern mullet. I was, that's what I asked for when I first got it. But it's kind of what you had, isn't it? Yeah, they just cut a normal mullet, Mm -hmm. but it was just short in the back. Yeah. And then you had more. Eli should get a mullet. No. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Eli's got good hair for it because Eli's kind of flows or like it, like yeah. you know. It kind of stays with that. He put it. He wets his hair and like puts his hat on. Yeah. And it stays. I, I can put my hat on, but then I just look like a grease head. He had to blow dry it. Let me have to start. Get yourself some hair. I just wet my hair. I put my head in the sink and just put my yeah. hat on. No, I have to. I have to completely dry my hair and then comb it. Otherwise, it'll look really greasy. I wish I had curly hair. Imagine. No, you don't. No, you don't. Dude, I have to shower in the mornings before school. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, oh, I do he, too. He's got Gre- more curly it's hair. It's greased up, and it's just a fro. I shower every morning and every night. Yeah, same here. Or you should come to school with a straight fro. Just, like, get your hair to point out yeah. straight. No, I can't show my forehead. <laughs> no. Please don't. What the flip? You do that at night though, like you're sitting there playing Xbox or something, and you like shower and you just put your hair back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Hockey flow. Well, it's nice to get it off your forehead sometimes. No. Put my <laughs> no. But remember Morgan's mullet, bro? He always had a greasy mullet. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't matter what you washed. It, it was right longer there. in the middle than on like the side. <laughs> yeah. It was cute. I like it longer on the side. He's just will put it in a ponytail. <laughs> Man bun. There you go. You ever thought about actually doing that, like getting a man? No, 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 absolutely not. Those are grease. Didn't isn't Nick that what Jackson man, did for basketball? I thought about it once. Jackson yeah, did, yeah, a couple did times. A, we did it for practice once. Looked terrible. Jackson, Jackson did a lot good. of stuff for practice once. <laughs> yeah. The muffin man. The muffin man. <laughs> you missed that, Morgan. Were you? Yelling? Muffin man. Muffin man. He always practiced without a shirt on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. He'd roll up his jersey. He just yeah. has good hanging out. So he said it looks like a muffin top. So we called him Muffin Man. <laughs> <laughs> what he should have done is days. didn't Mason have like a crop top? Yeah. 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 yeah he should have put top. that on for practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks. Yeah. He, did. he had a uh, Black Lives Matter crop top. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it was like made for like. Six-year-olds. I thought he, I thought he <laughs> like, cut it off. Like it was like a t-shirt it was for a, like a six-year-old. It was really small. The sleeves, yeah. the sleeves went to like right here. What, you didn't cut them? I thought and he so cut he up the shirt. Cut, a, cut his sleeves off and then he, the shirt just went like to right here. Yeah. No go. No. Yeah. He probably still has it. Dude, that, that class was awesome. Yeah. He probably wears it to parties in college. <laughs> Mason, no. <laughs> Never. No. I miss that class a lot. Yeah. yeah. Boys, have you taken your senior pictures yet? No. It'll be soon, though. Yeah, I think I either. take mine at, like, the end of this month or something. Yeah, I haven't either. Who are you getting to do them? Uh, I don't even know. We're doing them when we do family pictures. Is it Shelby from Redfield? Shelby Stoner? Mm, no. I think she did She did James's, I think. Yeah, I think so. It I'm might be. I have no idea. I'm getting mine done, like, the 22nd, I think, by my cousin Shelby. Oh. Oh, wait, no, it's not. What's the... Yeah, it's Shelby. 
right? Shelby Stoner in Redfield? I have no idea. Yeah. No, I don't remember. Do you even know when you're getting yours done, Nick? I just said like the 20 second. Oh. Well, I just... Oh, I just got oh, my no. braces off, so... No, it's really nice because mine... Smile for me. <laughs> my, <laughs> mine isn't an appointment. Like, I can just call her whenever I want to. Mm-hmm. So that's really nice. Mm. I think I'm doing two sessions, too. Like, I'll do one this fall with, like, the equipment and stuff. Yeah, what, and like, what are you going to do with your... Like, what are your scenes going to be? Like, I'll probably take one in front of the combine. Um, probably in front of the cutter and the trucks. Um, cows. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take it. Mason took his, him sitting on a feed bunk with his pickup park. You take something like Peyton. No. Put your helmet on, take your shirt off. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll keep my shirt on. Yeah, and, and but then in the, <laughs> wow. in the spring, I'm going to take like sports pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, after we win the state championship and get a trophy. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. What's your record this year? Uh, three uh, it's three. seven and home. Oh, Isn't yeah. it like three and four? <laughs> <laughs> it's three and three. Oh, yeah. That'll be three and four. No. What even happened at the last game, bro? Just um, some unfortunate events. Yeah. How does it feel to be, get the only touchdown in that game? Feels good. <laughs> no, feels good. good. Me and me and Preston basically marched him down the field. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we did. Get out of here. Preston had like a 15-yard run. Yeah, because you guys actually blocked for him. I had him, a 15-yard right? catch. No, that was a different drive. Oh, yeah. Yes, it, it was. was. A different drive. <laughs> it was in you like guys, the second half. Your catch was on the you guys got first really offensive close. drive. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it, was. it was. It was like we were going this way. No, yeah, that was the first offensive drive. Oh, no, you're right. It was, that was, it was in the like second no, quarter. Second yeah, it was in the second half. Second half. You guys were on, like, going towards the south end. Cause yeah, like, I don't know. You were going south, like, and you got pretty close to the end zone, and, and like, then just somebody, whiffed. Yeah. Because a couple plays. Probably. A couple plays after Parrot Y Go, where I caught it. We Dude, ran, my, we ran, my audio keeps cutting out. We ran Badger and Preston got, like, three. a 15-yard run. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because the drive before that, we punted. Oh. Yeah, you'll punt a lot whenever you only get one touchdown in a whole game. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. That'll <laughs> happen. You guys didn't do any good at basketball? Uh, we won't be, be terrible at basketball. We've got Devin and Patrick. They're really good at basketball. Aren't the Dolan kids really good at basketball? Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> Have you seen Matthew lately? Matthew Hofer. Hofer. Is he the is he the senior? He's a tall one. Oh no, I haven't Elbows. seen him. Dude, he has flow. Now. Oh yeah, I have seen him. He was he was homecoming king. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he dresses that's like he kind of dresses that's his retro. Hair. That's yeah. his no, that's his hair. Yeah, I know. But uh, he good. dresses like retro all the time, like eighties yeah. outfits and stuff. Jeez, it's funny. I so what you're saying is Morgan's gonna be warming the bench for everybody? No, <laughs> Morgan's gonna be a. <laughs> Maybe. He's going to be a demon in the post. What is Trudy playing no, football? No. What position on defense? Uh, outside linebacker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, uh, Coach Smith was around. yelling at him pretty good. Dude, yeah. I got I got some mad respect for Tristan, though. Yeah. He takes so many big hits, but he still he just gets up. He always makes a tackle, though. He does. He always gets ran over, but he makes the tackle. Oh, that's probably why he makes the tackle. Look at him back there. Is he, is he watching us? Mm-hmm. Hey, Trudy, come here. Trudy. Yeah, Tristan, come here. I want him in on this podcast. We, we at least got to show him what he looks like. There Come he Come back, is. stand back here. There's a big man. There he is. There's my big. Justin, did you hear us here. talking about you? Yes. Are you mad? No. <laughs> it happens a lot. Always make it does, tackle. but you always get up. Man, got respect. Yeah. Yeah. Show him the size comparison. Yeah. What? Get up. No. Get up. Stand up, boys. Come on now. You're you the stand other, up. You're the only outside yeah. linebacker. Do you want yeah. to tell me you're a, a football player? <laughs> Don't tell me. Come on, boys. Yeah, dude. I'm going to say this on the pod. There's one day. We're in McDonald's. Bye, Tristan. Right? Later. It's, it's me, um, Patrick, Devin, Tristan, um, Jackson, and Damon. And we're, like, sitting at this table. We got our food. We're eating. And this large man comes up, like, probably 50, 60 years old, just, like, horribly out of shape. Comes up to me, or comes up to our table, and he's like, 
he just like starts talking to me, whatever. And I was like, oh, whatever. So I'll, I'll have a conversation with this guy. And he's like, what position or what um, sports do you play? Whatever. And he's like, well, wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. And he's like, you play baseball, don't you? And I was like, no, I'm, I don't play baseball, whatever. He's like, um, he's like, well, what do you play? And I was like, I was like, before I could say it, he was like, don't tell me you play football. Mm. And I was just like, <laughs> like I thought he was just joking because he doesn't like football or something. And then I was like, yeah, I do, whatever. He's like, no way. What position do you play? And I was like, running back. And he's like, no way. There's absolutely no way. You you must just get you must just get demolished. And I was just like, well, no. <laughs> like, like this guy just came up and started crapping on me. It's like I wasn't even the smallest one at the table. And then he goes, well, you must be really fast then, huh? And I was just like, ah, I don't know, not really. Whatever. He's like, oh, I don't didn't, didn't I don't get that then. Why are you running back? Did Jackson like, say you weren't? said you were slow yeah jackson's like no he's actually kind of slow and i was just like what the heck <laughs> like i just go to mcdonald's to have a nice meal and just get flayed what'd you get what'd go you to get mcdonald's, get a, McDonald's get a nice meal what'd you get probably like chicken what, strips um i think i got a mcchicken mcchicken yeah that's but probably why then dude yeah. i i got i was kind of mad so you know i had to kind of did you drop him no but i had to i had to kind of diss on him so he's like He's like, yeah, I, I played lineman back in high school. And I was like, yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> oh. He was like really, really big. I can't just let him come up and diss on me. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Jeez. That's the same thing if I saw a 5'11", 5'10", blaze banger. Yeah, well, table. guess who had the only touchdown last game? I Wasn't only you. The, only got the ball twice. So I don't want to hear So I was the new quarterback. It's right. quarterback. <laughs> Quarterback's quarterback. <laughs> Throwing the ball. And Did you guys even do any off. pass plays? Yeah. Yeah. I think the thing that saves you guys most is when they try to run pass plays. Because yeah. your pass defense is really good. Uh, it was that game. Yeah, it was that game. But like SBA too. Well, yeah. That's because that quarterback has... overthrown him. Yeah. Overthrown yeah. him. I don't know how Devin no, got it. I will say our our pass defense has been pretty good the last well, couple of games. Devin, Patty, not Patty, no, Patty, 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 Patty. <laughs> You got Devin, you got Peyton, Peyton. Well, they're both really fast and good. Yeah, they balls. can cover the field pretty good, but I don't know. Well, At the beginning of the year, there? it wasn't so good, but now yeah. it's it's better. It's starting to learn. Yeah. Maybe if boys could actually catch the ball. Then there's me. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morgan, what happened to that? Coach Smith said he was going right up the middle, and then here you are. Yeah, I was outside because freaking your middle linebacker you're supposed to be in the middle. Yeah, well they ran sweeps the almost all game and watch the guards. Guards made it look like they were going outside. So I went outside and boom, right up the middle, got like five yards. But what can you do? What can you do? One middle linebacker, not very no, good. So. We got a tough game this week though. Really tough play? game. We play Falcon. Oh, yeah. They're ranked <laughs> number two right now. I thought they were three. No, they're number two. Who's number one? Avon. Avon's good this year. I thought yeah. Avon went to like 9A or something. Mm-mm. Oh, they're still 9B. No, they're, they still got their running back, and their running back's pretty good. They still got that black kid. Yeah. Ooh. Say a Meyer. Yeah. Do you guys even play him during the season? No, we don't play him this year. Thankfully. As I say, thankfully. <laughs> it'd probably be in Avon, too. Yeah. No, For it like would, the it third would be year home. in a row. Yeah. That, that's such a hard trip, too. Yeah. That's so far away. I remember going there. Their field isn't even that nice, too. Mm-hmm. It kind of like a... Yeah. It's got a hump in the middle. Really well, yeah. For, yeah. Silly Buttes is a nice field. Silly Buttes is But I think we have some of the nicest fields. Like, they're flat. <sighs> they're flat, but they're rough. Yeah, but Coach they're, keep, they're, they're, they're the mostly flat. Like There's keeps the grass nice. Yeah, the grass is all right, but like the ground is really hard, and there's a lot of ruts. Yeah. Unlike the far south side of our field, there's a big dip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's a big dip at the kind of right line. Yeah, right at the fifty the yard, yard line or forty yard line. line. Mm-hmm. That's always, where it's really rough. Always go down in it during the ten minute rounds. Yeah, and would you rather run? With like a little dip here and there, or would you rather run over a big mound? But well, usually yeah. you're not running over the mound. Usually it's just slowly straight going. back and forth. Mm-hmm. 
The mountain's also for runoff. So yeah. the water doesn't yeah. sit in the middle. Yeah, we don't have water sitting in the middle of our face. Yeah, because we're in a drought. Yeah. yeah. And That's there's true. a slough about 20 feet. <laughs> yeah. So muggy and speaking of drought how you guys you guys gonna like you start beans you gonna prepare for that or you don't have any beans this year you don't planted everything to corn corn and uh cover crops we're pretty bold we have 18 acres done in our combines and redfield so do you guys like keep a disc in the field or water yeah we got a water truck got That's a fuel used, trailer usually always filled them. <laughs> <laughs> starts on fire start Throwing gas on it usually helps. Yeah, that's how you stop. Dump some death on it. Yeah. Just make a line to your com- combine yeah. for the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think insurance would be happy if we had another fire. A couple years ago, no. I paid for a When we did wheat, I think it was wheat, we uh, were a couple miles from our farm, and we had our class, two classes, and they got stuck in something down by the... Uh, Stuff that throws it out the back. Yeah. I can't think of it. And it started yeah. a little. The choppers started, or whatever. Yeah. Where the knives are for the chopper. It started on fire. It was dropping little flames down. Mm. And yes. so me and Kyle were at the shop. Or we, were in a, we just got back from town. And I go to start our water truck. And both batteries are dead. Oh, nice. Oh. And then he went, got our dozer, and we had to hook up to the vertical till. And then he had to drive all the way down there. Yeah, see what happened in Falkton? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like a bunch of, our mom said a bunch of hunters went into like a bunch of grass and started on fire and it burnt like 15 miles up. Holy. Oh, or there's some colony someplace that had a bunch of pig barns burned down. Oh, no. Like their whole entire pig operation just caught on fire. Uh, and it down was in old. Ohio? No, it was out here. Do Do you guys think there's like money to be made in pigs, or do oh, they yeah. just do it for the yeah. manure? Oh yeah, I bet pigs. Yeah. Really? Like them big pig yeah. operations, they make money. I don't know. I feel like though. you have to. I feel like they, that big. Yeah, but I feel like they just do it for the manure, because oh. pig manure is like really, that's really true. rich. But you also get like you, you can, can sell you that can get too. paid by companies to build them barns. Uh, yeah, you can get government programs. Yeah, government like the government programs help build the barns, and then the pigs that bad no. yeah you know one thing about pigs is you can have enough of them whatever to like cover a loss or like you know yeah. like when um when you what is it called when pigs like have babies what is that called uh, pharaoh yeah. Yeah. yeah like pharaoh. when they pharaoh they have like eight pigs so yeah. it's like if you lose one or two but most of them big places covering the don't cows. pharaoh they just yeah. right feed yeah, because like they have to be so clean and everything, you don't really want to have to deal with the. Well, that's another grain. thing. It's clean. Yeah, you gotta to keep clean. everything really clean. But yeah, but if you have like a a nice barn, I feel like it wouldn't be hard to clean. Yeah, they just go yeah. in there with a the skid steer or something and push it all. Like out. I had explained to it by and it's Kenny Boomsmo whenever I was driving his roller over to. Oh, do they have meat or uh, no, do they have pigs? No, but I was taking the roller over to Lebanon to roll some bean fields. Oh. And he was following, and we were talking on the radio, and we went past, like, three big pig barns. Oh. He said they were, like, government-funded. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's a good idea, I maybe mean, something to get into. Yeah. You, you don't want to you you know what sucks, they stink, though. You get yeah, the they manure. They smell yeah. bad. You, you know what's really bad is turkeys. Yeah. Turkey, yeah. turkey yeah. manure, turkey and chicken manure has got so much uh, we got, uh, something in it. It make like, if ammonia. you smell pneumonia. Yeah. If you go in the barn, like without without a tractor or something to scrape off the walls, it'll about make you pass out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got B, B. J. McNeil yeah. has organic ground next to us. And he always he piles up chicken manure in them. Mm-hmm. And Yikes! It's me and our dad. We were having a we were having a bad day. <laughs> and Hiles <laughs> called us. One of their trucks got stuck out in their field, and we had to go pull them out. Yikes! Nice Nick, let's talk about you getting stuck. Yeah, I did get stuck this weekend. Oh, Damn, yeah, yeah. Man. I buried it really bad. <laughs> Had to unload it to get it out? Yeah, so, like, it was... So, Max was driving the other wagon for us, mm-hmm. and it's got nice big tires, tandem axles that move. My wagon has super singles <laughs> on, like, semi-axles. Yeah. So, it doesn't have any movement to it, and they sink really easy. And he filled me up. About as full as wagon you get. There's a big mound on top. Oh, yeah. No room on the sides. Of well, ear ridge is really heavy. Too. Ear ridge is really heavy. And I went through this like low bare spot that was dry. Mm. And I got like five feet into it and it sunk. And I stopped, got out to look, 
and it just kept sinking down to the axles. Oh, no bottom. Mm -mm. And my That's... dad's got this uh, high tensile chain that he pulls it out with all the time. The four wheel drive snapped it three times. Oh my! We got this really, like you know, a link is about that big in the shop. God. A chain. He said if we would put that on there, it probably rip, would have ripped the front axle of the tractor off. Yeah, we, that's the only way, only way yeah. to hook it on the 8120. There's like hooks on the front axle. Yeah, yeah, that's what, basically where you pull from. Yeah, so that. there was you no need a way. yankum rope. Yankum got, rope. Yeah. Right. Have you seen that video of that 9R that got stuck? Yeah, that dude 9R in that. with the air seater on yeah. it. Yeah, and, yeah, and he had the, that old, that, that old, that, that really John, old Deere, John Deere, like an 80. Drive. Yeah, just. Back up, back like oh, right back, up. Yeah. He backed up, put and his then, feet like on the windshield. Yeah, to brace himself. Yeah. Put it in like road gear and just dump the took clutch. Off. Yeah, that's got to pull that one. Bro, whenever Most whenever cars. the rope got tight, took the tractor and was going forward and it just shoved. The, it yeah. like bounced to throw the tractor. Throw the tractor the side. Yeah, dude, we broke we broke a bunch of windows out of like our feed wagon tractor, cause like Did back you get in that stuck or what? back in like twenty twenty, I think it was when it was really wet. All of our feedlots were just a disaster. Yeah. So whenever we'd go into feed, we'd always get stuck. We usually don't have that problem, but like... And then the chain would break and come back and break the window. You know, calving, we have calving pasture, and it's got a low spot. That's the only spot where feedlots, the feed bunks sit right. Oh. So if we get a bunch of snow and it all melts, it come, yeah. you driving through there with the ranger that deep in mud. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> how it is for ours. We got a, like a pen kind of, yeah. and then we got like a pasture behind it. And then it's cut in half by trees. In the pasture, it's pretty nice and pretty level. And then it goes down into bay a ravine. Mm -hmm. You got to cross the ravine, go to the other side of the pasture. Just pin it. <laughs> it's just you start going down it, and then you just pin it all the way through. Well, like with our feed bunks, the snow melts, makes that all like mud pit. The one year we had to put 8120 with duels on it to pull the feed wagon through Jeez. that. Yeah, we had our we had our feed wagon hooked up to one of our quad tracks because we couldn't, oh we couldn't pull through anything. <laughs> well, you guys got really big feed wagons, don't you? Yeah, uh, it was a what's it called? It was one of them Cone. little little one of them little ones. Little ones. Yeah, you just it doesn't mix. Yeah. You just, oh, oh. I don't, I don't know why I can't think of it. You want to know oh, what it is for? Like a Myers frame? box. Yeah, yeah. Myers box. Just we got we one of them chuck wagons. ones. Yeah, chuck. We had a chuck wagon. We had a hook, hooked it up to our quad, <laughs> pulling it through snow, pulling it through whatever. You want to know what it is for? Tracks on a Ranger in like either snow or mud. <laughs> we bought tracks. We never fun. put them on. Yeah, yet. we got tracks, but we just we don't really use our Rangers much. We just use we just use it for calving and stuff. Right. We used yeah. to leave our tracks on like all the time when we did fencing because it was always wet. And then the tracks started falling off, so when we Ooh, yeah, you plug it with the mud. I think we the have, only bad th the only th reason we haven't put tracks on is you have to adjust the steering bar so yeah. much and whatever. Well, we just throw them on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have two sets, and if it, we bought one set in 2019 when we got all that snow, and then we bought another one a couple of years ago. I think it was in 22. Ours are just sitting in the corner like, of the shop acting like a shelf right now. Yeah. Kind <laughs> it's kind of it's, crazy how high the Ranger sits too when you put the tracks on. I think we've only got it stuck twice. Have but you ever got it? It burns the belt off. Of it. it burns. Yeah, there's bad. there's one time I was over at Morgan's. We were snowmobiling, and I buried my snowmobile. Yeah, and we had to go get the track <laughs> ranger to pull it out. Jeez. Yeah, we couldn't pick couldn't pick the snowmobile up because it was like yeah. it was so, in a bank. <laughs> it was in a bank. He's sitting like this, and we we're like, mm, oh. hop on, we'll go back to the shop and grab a ranger. And then we didn't have anywhere to hook it up to. Yeah, hooked it up to the rear bar not even a bumper i've only got stuck in our ranger once i was driving around with my dog <laughs> went into the snow and it looked shallow but it was actually like a hole underneath of it oh and the ranger just sunk i was yeah. luckily close enough to the well most of the time lot. most of the time the only reason you can get stuck is because you just bottom out yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, i was close we're... enough to the feed lot. i just wrapped the winch around the yeah. railroad tie and pulled it out our parents go to the hills and so i'd uh during the winter and i had to go do chores in the morning we just got like in our garage it blows up really yeah. bad next to the doors and then we park our ranger inside the garage <laughs> it took like four tries of me backing up pulling forward backing up and then i high centered so i just scoop it out with a shovel got it out got it to the farm 
I was just in a really, really bad, bad mood. mood. <laughs> then I had to go push out a bunch of snow in front of the feed bunks. Ooh. You ever had to like scoop out the feed bunks? Oh yeah, yeah. we got that. Yeah. We got a it's bunk sweep. Yeah, bunk sweep we that we need. put on. Well, we have a bunk blower we put on the back of the tractor. It's got a long arm and blows out the bunks. Yeah. But Uncle Todd was stuck at his house. There was so much snow. Yeah. I had to scoop for... out the bunks for like an hour yeah, before dude, school. Yeah, that sucks. And then like and they when the bottom of the well. bunks are rough. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're like your leaf, shovel leaf feed left and it freezes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. dude, it sucks. Or I just take the top the layer tanks. off. Because the take feed, the like when you put the feed on top of it, usually melts it. Yeah. yeah. So I just take the top layer off. Breaking over water tanks when it was like oh, negative yeah. 60. Yeah, we. I had to break them open like probably twice in the morning and probably four times in the what afternoon. kind of heaters you guys got we got elect- we electric like a couple years ago we had like propane heaters yeah we have propane heaters with a little fire underneath yeah, yeah. but like ours just kept not working yeah. whatever so we had to keep breaking them out and then dad was finally like this is it like and then in the spring we put electric to all of our deals yeah. so now we just got electric heaters i think we have electric heaters in some of our newer ones but most of them are old so they're all propane. You gotta go in there and adjust the flame. Mm-hmm. We got electric ones, but you know, when it's negative sixty, they don't work. Yeah, because it'd be like this much ice. Yeah. There was a time where it got really cold at one point, so we turned the flame up on one of our feedlots, and then the next day was like kind of warmer, and we had that stuff almost boiling. Yeah. Uh, that'll be good for the cattle. Just yeah. steam rolling Just off steam the water everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the camera. Might yeah. Uh, it hasn't been 30 minutes yet, I don't think. We had a, we were fencing one time, and my dad went across, there was like this pond, and he had to cross it with the skid steer, and he was going across it, and it fell, the skid steer fell through, and the pond was like Ooh. deeper than the cab, and there was Yikes. this mound, so he had caught the bucket up on the mound, and then the whole skid steer went underwater, and then they had to get like two, four How much wheel, time two or three four-wheel drives. Nine minutes? Talk about two I mean, we've been sitting here talking out of for it. 20, that means. Last yeah. year, we had, the, we had our cows on the corn stalks, and our dad went and fed one morning, and it was, like, kind of warm. It was, like, 35 degrees outside. And he had two loads on, and he went and fed the first one. He pulled around to go out, and the entire feed wagon dropped through all the mm-hmm. uh, uh, frost. And they had... Excavator out there, dozer. <laughs> was it full? Yeah, it was yeah, right halfway so full. He dug it out, tried to pull it, drug, drug the tractor in our feed wagon, probably 50 feet. Then he was just, he was, he was in a bad mood. Yeah. Be back in. Everybody's usually in a bad mood when you get something stuck. Or a grandpa yeah. got her payloader stuck. I don't know what the deal was. Someone was around. I'm pretty sure I was at our house. But he decided to pull himself out with a quad track, <laughs> snapped a chain, and then went and bent the hood up. Mm. See, that's one thing about the 8120 is it's, like, basically straight pipe. It's got, like, a really small muffler on it. Yeah. So I was trying to, get, you know, get the tire spinning, put it in fourth gear, wide open, let off the clutch. You know, sounds really cool. <laughs> it's got a big turbo on it. You could hear that thing. No, back in uh, 2019... When it was really wet, me and Dad were uh, combining corn, whatever, and I was in the um, grain cart, and I got it, like, really stuck to where, like, bottomed out the grain cart, oh, whatever. Man. And, like, when we put the spout out, whatever, like, we couldn't get to it with anything else. Like, we couldn't get another feed wagon under it, or yeah. not a feed wagon. A uh, truck or something. Yeah, we couldn't get a truck or a grain cart under it, so we had to pull the combine head up, whatever. Oh, and I just the slowly uh, dumped yeah. it into the combine head. That's better than trying to scoop it up all off, off the wet ground. ground. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I worked for my aunt and uncle, they had buried a quad track with a planter on it all the way up to the top step. Yikes. That's, that's bad. Yeah. Dig it. I remember when our dad got our heggy stuck in our cornfield. He had to dig it out. It was dropped down to the boom. Boom was almost sitting on the ground. Went and dug it out with the excavator and then they pulled on it just kept pulling on it my dad's got a crazy story about back in ohio they had a steiger quad four-wheel drive oh yeah and they some hired hand was pro tilling it was like a 40 foot something jeez and he bottomed it out like it tracks were that that deep yes he claims he pulled it out with like a 44 40 
I don't know if I believe it or not. But my, my brother always be getting stuck. With a <laughs> vertical tail. Well, not always, but it was a wet year, and he went and vertical tilled one of our fields. Well, he got stuck like four times. Those things unhook. are so heavy. Yeah. Had to unhook it, yank it out, unhook it, yank it out. Did that like four times. No thanks. Well, I suppose we better wrap this up. So yeah. thanks for listening. See you. Bye.